the twenties, and I was telling you about what some of us did then. Deauville, Le Touquet, Nice, Monte Carlo, an even tougher round than the one in London. Oh, what a bore. Battles of flowers, concours d'élégance, <gasps> so monotonous. Barons and baronesses, dukes, counts, Michael Arlen, Gerard de Maurier and Isadora Duncan, raffles, bulldog Drummond, the Savoy Orpheans and Pipsqueak and Wilfred. Oh, it was a full life. Sometimes we went to a simple summer camp. But we were growing girls now. In just a few months, we would graduate into being bright young things. And that meant ukuleles, the Charleston, and baby parties in Chelsea and Mayfair. So it was important to learn to be a sport, a chum, a good egg, a corker, a topper, a stunner, a winner. To be, in short, top hoe. Freedom, but not license. Hands up the girl who left that copy of Mary Stokes in the tea tent. Daphne had simply heaps of horses and was a crackerjack rider. They said she had the best seat in the county. She might be a duffer at trig, but over the sticks she really was riffing. And cupboards full of cups. Sometimes Daphne would spend a few days with her Aunt Flora in Cornwall. That's the painter aunt that Daph's mum wasn't really very happy about because she was so, well, bohemian. But, my dears, the child has simply no artistic leanings whatsoever. It can't do any real harm. I mean, it isn't as though Flora paints nudes or anything like that. I mean, as far as, far as I know, she doesn't. I do wish, on the other hand, that she didn't encourage Daph to go fishing when she goes down there. Simply ruinous for the hands. Then, of course, for the London season, Daph's sister Muriel would be back, regular as clockwork, armed with a completely new wardrobe. She'd sally forth to give battle on every date in the social calendar. The Eton and Harrow match. Actually, I, I don't think she knew anyone at Eton or Harrow, but it didn't matter, as long as she was seen there. She didn't know anything about cricket, either. Then there was Wimbledon. Our chorus work was perfect. Left, right, left, right. Sometimes we went to the races. So long in the legs now, bless her. I think it's so good for girls to see life, see people, and learn the value of money. Look, there's Lord Lonsdale. And over there's Princess Mary. I expect she's here because her brother's riding. Yes, darling, the Prince of Wales himself. I do hope he doesn't fall off today. He's had such bad luck lately. My dear, don't look now, but a woman jockey. Courageous, I suppose, but I don't quite like it, do you? So the world of the twenties passed by. Some of us only knew vaguely about unemployment and the depressions, but we didn't know much about cricket or racing either. We knew, of course, about the Bolsheviks. We wore Russian boots. But who didn't then? Russian boots and those gaiters. Remember them? Well, if you do, then you're older than I am, so there.
Gaiters, woolen stockings, and oh yes, the most wonderful line in fancy sunshades. Or, or were they umbrellas? Oh, they couldn't be. The swans down wouldn't do so well in the rain. Fetching though, don't you think? <laughs>